Yo, yo. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Yes. This DJ will kick the floor in three, in three, two, three, two, two, one, ah. one, one, one. Hello and welcome to Mzansu. We are back again. It's that time. We are updating you. We're still updating you about Backside. Then there's a lot of things that we still need to update you about before this case start, if it's ever going to start this year, mm -hmm. which I doubt mm -hmm. in my own opinion. So we are going to update you and we're going to give you other stuff. We have moved some of our reviews, reality TV, your, 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 anything that we were doing that has to come with television. And the it's entertainment now, industry. Yes, entertainment industry. It is now sitting on randoms. There's a channel called randoms. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. It is sitting. Uh, we are going to put it on a community tab. We have yeah. done it. So yeah. if you if you just scroll a bit, you'll be able to find that channel. For those who are still looking for reviews, still going to continue the reviews of uh, such. But for now, we are changing this channel to talk about serious stuff. Yeah. And that's how it is. Uh, for those ones who are not uh, abandoning them, we're still going to mm -hmm. continue. And yes. we are going to give everything that we're giving on this but except now so we, we are not going to say welcome to Mzans. we're going to say welcome to randoms thank you very much again for following us for those who have found the channel already thank you we have seen thank them you. and thank you again for your comments emily this is mr nomas for those who do not know me and emily can you please uh, hit the ground and run Hi guys, a quick update. I hope they're going to be quick, but uh, we need to talk about a couple of things regarding this. A couple of new developments. So remember with the court case of uh, Tabo Beste uh, on Friday, he wanted mm -hmm. a lawyer to address the court. Yes. You know, he wanted to, to, to speak. He wanted to address and the judge was like, no, 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 no. Everything you need to say, you can say through your lawyer. And he said that he had safety concerns. He wanted to be kept in a different prison due to safety concerns. On his court appearance, Tabo Beste through his lawyer demanded to be furnished with extradition papers following his arrest in Tanzania last week. Yeah. He says he does not agree with the identity number on his temporary passport. Mm -hmm. Now, can you please play the clip with the lawyer asking uh, 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 for, 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 for what Tabo Beste had wanted? Okay. The accused would also wish to be furnished with the extradition documents how he was brought to South Africa. According to the accused person, he does not have a number. He Therefore, can you repeat yourself? According to him, he does not have a number. You should that is why the accused had requested that he address the court himself. Mm. No, I could not hear you. Yes. You say a list doesn't have. Did you say ID number? Or rather, he does not agree with the ID number in the temporary passport. Mm. Therefore, he would wish to be furnished with all those travel documents. Uh, Your Worship, you did indicate I am a boss. Uh, I'm merely conveying that his concerns. Yeah. As you had, and and that's what it is. Um, mm. Well, I, mean, I, I I identified this as one of the tricks that Tabo Beste has under his sleeve. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that he's actually he's actually thought about this. Allegedly, mm. in my opinion, I feel like this thing he planned it from the time they got caught in Tanzania, mm. and. Uh, Everything made sense after uh, the Minister of Home Affairs, Aaron Mutsualedi, spoke in Parliament on Tuesday. And I began to connect the dots and actually see that, you know, <laughs> this guy is still full of tricks. <laughs> yes. Uh, he, he, and, and I said this. I know that there are lawyers here who think, hey. but all I'm trying to say is that what if this man denies I'm Baxter? You did bring it up. What you if, did. What if he says I'm not I'm not Baxter? It seems like that's where he's going. Because there's no way of identifying him. The case that is linking him with uh, the R word, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is no DNA. There. No. It wasn't collected because, mm. uh, and we're still going to get to it, it wasn't collected. The reason they gave was because he pleaded not guilty. Okay. 
So on Tuesday, Home Affairs Minister Aaron Motualedi briefed members of the Portfolio Committee on matters related to Besta's identity and return to South Africa last week. Motualedi told the committee that while a sample of Besta's DNA was taken ahead of his rape and murder trial in 2011, it was never tested. Mm. So that already is a problem. It is. The minister further confirmed for his entire life, Besta had completely evaded any form of identity registration. Besta had no identity number and has never been issued a passport. Home Affairs Minister Aaron Mutualedi said he had seen reports that when Besta appeared in court last week, mm. he had questioned the documents used to put him on the flight back to South Africa. Yes. When a South African loses their ID or passport overseas, they go to the embassy to get the emergency travel certificate. So Mutualedi said... What should happen is that you go to the South African embassy, they issue you with what is called the emergency travel certificate. And the emergency travel certificate is an emergency passport, as people usually like saying. Mm. We give you an emergency travel certificate, which is a handwritten document. Mm -hmm. We write whatever information you give us about yourself because we have got no other document to check. You give us that information, we take it to the flight, and you fly home. When you land, that document has got no use whatsoever. It comes to an end. Yeah. Yeah. End quote. So when they arrive back in the country, they verify that information against their systems. This was the same process that was followed with Besta when he was caught in Tanzania. When they checked that information against what Besta gave them, yeah. they found it was wrong. They did not find Besta in any of their databases. Then it was up to the police to follow up on that as he had lied about his information to Home Affairs. When they arrived at Lanseria, they immediately went into the system and checked that number. And indeed, as expected, it was found to not be existing. So what did they use to actually link Baxter? Fingerprints? Fingerprints from a correctional facility. Mozualedi said it means it is a charge as far as he's concerned, because he is defeating the ends of justice to mm. give legitimate law enforcement inf officers a wrong number, mm. a wrong ID number, mm. deliberately, and turns in court uh, that he was brought in a wrong number mm. when you are the one who gave it. So the, the, the question that I have is, I don't know. People who have done law, they would they they, they should guide us here. Mm -hmm. So, if you can be exonerated in a case where you are searched in a wrong way, mm -hmm. uh, let's say you are a woman, for example, mm -hmm. a male a male a police is the one that is searching you, mm -hmm. which is not allowed, mm -hmm. and then. If but there's that, no search if warrant. That, if, your, if the evidence is collected like that, mm -hmm. it's wrong, right? Mm. So if Baxter's argument is that the way I was extradited is not correct, what would but, happen? But, but he wasn't extradited. He was deported. Hey, the way I was deported, it was against my will then we'll need to find out the right process of deportation for mm. such a case as him. But the fact that he lied and put a wrong ID number, he knew. I what don't understand play? why he couldn't come clean and say, I've never had an identity document. I've, I don't have a South African ID number. What would have happened in that case? When they were arresting him first time, what did he say? That's a question. Because, I mean, if, if they have that information that this person doesn't have an ID they should. They should. I mean, they should they should have profiled him already. What that character they are have dealing a, with. Yes, yes. yes. But uh, it seems like our systems with correctional services and, and the government change. Because general, Baxter can argue that I, I, I am illiterate. I mean, I, I, I don't know my, my, my ID by head. 
No, but he gave a wrong one. Yeah, but yes, he because he gave a false one. Yeah, because you 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 are illiterate. But this is a trick. Why why are you writing an ID document an ID number you do not have? What are you hoping to achieve? Doesn't he have the ID number because the ID number is issued on a certificate process. Uh, this man from the American a... passport. The only thing he has that Mutwa lady said at the press briefing was that he has an American passport. Pale. And, it's and they correctly, couldn't it's correctly they couldn't issued. verify the, the 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 American passport because we don't have American uh, system trackers. So this guy has American information only. Yes. So it's not our guy. He doesn't have a South African ID. So if this guy is not our guy, then his argument is that he's not supposed to be persecuted here. But he has been convicted here. Mm. If it was a, a person who had never been arrested, serving three life sentences, mm-hmm. maybe it would be different. But the thing is, he's serving three life sentences here. I don't know if he denies that he's, he's, he's Tabo Baxter. What's left is him denying ex- exactly. What's left what is if him he denies denying that I'm not Tabo Baxter. That I'm not Tabo Baxter. Mm. That's what's left at this point. Okay. So apparently this is how Tabo Beste failed to cooperate. Remember when the Tanzanian authorities had reported to, to some of the media publications that mm-hmm. he was difficult. Mm-hmm. This is this is another hint that he was difficult. He didn't give them the correct information about himself. It looks like he wanted to make the process difficult, you know? And he Oh, he just had an idea of what he needed to do to mess this case up. Mhm. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Now, Minister Mutualedi also had to defend the 1.4 million spent to bring Tabo Best and Dr. Nandi Pama Gudumana back to South Africa. On Tuesday, Mutualedi told the Portfolio Committee on Home Affairs that they had to charter a flight to bring the pair back at the cost of 1.4 million rands. He said, you can fly from here to Dar es Salaam and other places and pay 6,000 rands. Which commercial flight do you think would have accepted Besta? And then passengers seated comfortably, seeing two people in handcuffs <laughs> entering an aircraft with several people to make sure they don't run away. Couldn't they have booked that commercial flight exclusively for those people and pay the rest of the tickets for everybody else? Because I feel like that would have been cheap. Wasn't going to amount to the same amount? No, I, I doubt it. 6,000 per ticket. 6,000 per ticket. How many? How, how big? Would is it that? reach 1.4 million? How big is for that? For 14 element? people plus Besta and Dr. Nandipa. So that's a commercial one. That's a commercial one. Yeah, it was cheaper. So that's my question. Why wouldn't they have done that? Or was it a higher security is risk? It a South African, is it a South African airplane, this one? It's a okay. private jet. South African. I heard the, the company is South African, yes. Okay. So Mutua Lady was adamant that the state agencies involved in bringing Besta back to the country had made the right choice. He said that he doesn't think that any aircraft company would have allowed that situation. He said that he doesn't remember where thugs of this nature flew around the world on commercial passenger flights. They have never deported anybody on a commercial flight. So it seems like it's something that's foreign. They've never had to deport anybody on a commercial flight before. And when they Who deported... Who have they deported before? Apparently there's somebody. He okay. even gave an, an example. When they deported... Was he flying also on a, on, a, on a private jet? When they deported Congolese Papi Sukami... Mm-hmm. Imagine we put that man into an aircraft with other innocent passengers on a commercial flight. I'm sorry, but we cannot do that as much as we want to save money. So this is Mutuali giving an example of someone they've had to deport before. But a million. Mina, my, 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 my argument is, is very simple. Why couldn't they just exclusively book, book a commercial flight, pay everyone's tickets, including the empty seats? It would have amounted to way less yeah, it than one point four sure. million. If, if you are saying the number, how many? Fourteen people. Ah, it was. It was. Yeah. You, you can even do a hundred and three. And pay or pay the entire flight. 
Yeah. If it was going to cost a certain amount but and it wouldn't have like costed uh, a million. A million no. Yeah. So I'm I'm very very bothered by, by the private jet. It's like they're getting luxurious treatment for being criminals and I, I I'm also bothered by it. This is taxpayers money, you know? Or maybe we were just giving them free money these private jets. Mhm. Maybe, maybe. Because that's 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 how you, that's another way of looking at it. I mean, I mean, people. This is South Africa, man. Then Mutswale joked that he had best had best have been brought back on a commercial flight. He would have made the headlines. I, I don't see that happening. He said that if they did that, the members of parliament would be tearing them apart for being careless. It would have ended up disastrous if actually he managed to maybe escape or they lose track of him, which was highly unlikely because they were chained, right? Mm, he no, was chained. Yeah, yeah, he was. But Nandipa was not. Mm -hmm. So I don't think, I, I don't know, guys, I don't know. I just feel like there's too much money being wasted here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they took the cheapest flight. This was the best option than going with a commercial flight. So Mutualedi added that Tanzanian officials had wanted Besta and Magudumana to be handed over to immigration officials and that this was the most practical option, which also met the deportation requirements of Tanzanian authorities. As the Department of Home Affairs, he doesn't have its own plane. So Department of Home Affairs doesn't have its own plane. The 14 officials necessary for the operation would have had to fly commercially they would then have to hire minibuses and drive 600 kilometers from Dar es Salaam to Arusha and back Mutualedi said that it would have been careless and taken too long to transport fugitives on commercial transport not a commercial why airplane. is he the one explaining this because parliament was asking last week I mean uh, advocate Brayton Bach well, well, uh, that's what I'm trying to get why him why is, is the minister of Home affairs? Yes. Not the minister of of of, of justice. Police and this money, where did it come from? We don't know. The justice department, obviously. This this well, is not. This has nothing to do. M m m the, the, the the minister of Home affairs explanation should end on a Baxter not having on Baxter not having ID and and whatnot. That's where it should end. Well, he said that conditions set by Tanzanian authorities for handing over the couple also had to be respected. They opted on deportation, not extradition or any other system. Mm -hmm. So, and when a person is deported to your country of origin, they are handed to only to immigration officials of that country. Oh, now that is where... Not any other authorities. So, so the police that went there, they wasted our money and they went there and, and, and next thing they were not given this person. Yet, uh, they claim big, big girl is here on 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 social on 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 television saying that he, he worked well with Tanzanian officials. So basically, what we are <laughs> they getting didn't want to talk to them. They didn't want to talk to them. They didn't want to talk. They wanted immigration. They didn't want to talk to South African police allegedly. So and the Tanzanians said that they are not prepared to hand over Tabo Beste to the police. They said it. It's, it's 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 on the news also. They said it. Yes, I I extracted this from uh, is it News Twenty Four? Yeah. So so I wonder why. I wonder why they didn't want to talk to the police. So according to Mutua Lady, they had been forced to charter a flight and made use of Treasury dust database. They took the cheapest option at one point four million. Can you believe that was the cheapest option? <laughs> Mutsu Lady said that they never asked anyone for a luxury flight, adding that his department had only paid one third of the total cost. He said that the cost of the flight would be split three ways with the Department of Correctional Services and the police. So this bill of 1.4 million is going to be split into three. So the Department of Home Affairs is going to pay their portion, Department of Correctional Services is going to pay their portion, and the police is going to pay their portion. Mm -hmm. So they are going to split the bill three ways. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to dispel the public notion that the pair was repatriated from Tanzania in a lap of luxury. It still does not exonerate the fact that they did not want to speak, speak with our justice. No. They did not. No, this I found very interesting that Tanzania didn't want to Our justice speak. is such that it's undermined even in uh, with other countries. He crossed how many borders? Three. They, they, they should have just stayed at home. 
three borders. So, yeah, it's a mess. And Police Minister Peggy Kele said that as many people will be arrested for Tabo Besta's escape, he says police will leave no stone unturned in the investigation. Mm. <laughs> and police top management came under fire from MPs last week. Yes. So what did you think about that? Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry about that, Leach. But Yes. Mm, so, where were we? That he he will leave no stern no stone unturned, Mr. Begitele, ah. uh, regarding the arrest of other ah, suspects. He's confident they're Begitele. going to make more arrests. So police top management came under fire from MPs last week for their relaxed response to the best escape and slow pace of investigations when they were the first to smell a rat about Bester's supposed death in South 35. So in July last year, police knew that the DNA of Bester's mother. Maria Mabaso did not match that of the body found in cell 35. What did they do? Did they tell anything? No. Nothing was turned. Remember that Minister Begitele said that forensics were able to confirm that the two people apprehended in Tanzania were indeed Tabo Best and Dr. Nandipa. He said that the technical team was sent to Tanzania, that was sent to Tanzania, took the fingerprints and it matched the fingerprints on the file. Mm. So this satisfied Tanzanian officials. It had been forensically approved that it's him and officials granted permission for him to leave Tanzania. And when he appeared in court we will see that it's him and mm. quote that's what mr minister begitele said so they used the fingerprints only to confirm if it's indeed really him and the same was done for dr nandipa they needed fingerprints for dr nandipa also yes they oh. have them at home affairs so the police uh, minister said that Bester's DNA samples, which were supposed to be stored in the SAPS DNA database when he was convicted of forcing himself onto females in 2012, could not be found. I've, I've heard someone say something like that. I don't know where. It could not be but found. But yeah. So Kele said that once Bester and the others linked to him were jailed, correctional services was expected to deal with them. So that is how they couldn't confirm whether Maria Mabaso was actually Tabo Bester's biological mother or not at the time after the escape when she came to claim the body. We are, the, I mean, Bester is anything that South Africa needed. In a sense that we are seeing everything loophole that is that is really not good for our state, and I mean honestly, with the money that is spent and everything that we pay for, this is what we get. Twenty twelve, his DNA is not there. Someone is saying it was not taken. Someone is saying it could not be found. What is going on? How does someone get convicted of that crime and that DNA is not taken? This is insane. Welcome to this South Africa. Insane. We normally say this is a we are in a movie. So we it's are very much far from obtaining a database like in the US of everyone who's been previously convicted of such crimes. Yes. We are never going to get it as the public. And not that we so don't that you money. know the teacher that is teaching your kids at school, you are able to look them up. No, we, 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 I mean, Emily. The we, nannies we, you leave behind with your children, you are able to still, look. We still have a problem of tracing cases, for example. In America, these things are readily available. You don't need to go put your name down to pull someone's case. Mm. You know? Here in South Africa, you need to leave your name there so that they can track you mm -mm. if there's something that went wrong. So members of parliament on Tuesday called on authorities to urgently test the DNA of Tabo Beste to confirm that Maria Mabaso is indeed his biological mother. Mutua Lady said that Bester's DNA samples were once taken but never utilized because Bester admitted guilt during his trial. His admitted DNA now. sample was never tested. Oh, because so they admitted. are all saying yes, because he, he, he didn't admit he didn't admit that he was guilty. 
that's why they they didn't take the DNA samples. Is that so in South Africa? I don't know. It shocked me. It shocked me. I mean, me. when I watch this, this, I'm, this, I'm, this I'm, cases I'm horrified. in American, t- these American cases, they that's when they take the DNA more. Yes, to test, and it is stored in a database so that in the future, should you commit other crimes, they're able to pull records that you are this kind of criminal. So that did not happen. How many more people does this not happen for? And they are roaming the streets now. We don't even want to go there, but it's there now already. I mean, it's there. We, 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 we are talking about it. Here we go. He also said that the death certificate for the body found in his cell can't be issued until the person's identity is confirmed. So we are, How still, is it gonna be? We are still waiting for the confirmation of the identity of the body that, set, that bent in Tabo Bester's cell. How is it going to be confirmed? I because don't know. Our good doctor banned it. It is got cremated. Yes. Yet. Dr. Nandipa did yet that. For people. everybody who, who's saying, it, Dr. Nandipa is the one who got to eventually cremate that body. Yes, our people, they say, you don't know. You don't know. I sugar. You don't know what. You don't know what. This, that person now will never be buried in a proper way. And what has become clear now is that we what devil's advocate question here what happens when we find out that maria mabaso and it's not this the taba, taba besties dna don't match are we ready for that should it happen it's just a question it's a possibility it's a possibility of what do happening. we do because the guy looks more more Different. Of an eye outsider, then I mean, considering that he, there was a mixture, I the, the guy should at least you know, but I don't know, man. I don't think that I, I, I reserve that also. I'm saying that we might be in for a, a ride here because if that is the case, then the argument changes completely. I think we should wrap it up here. I have nothing else left Can to say. Can you imagine? Zero chances. We are in hell. There are zero chances that Baxter's mother is na 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 my boss. And then we are in for a ride. This guy Remember, is going to be suing us. They used him. Maria Mabaso's con- uh, details to confirm that they had taken the right person from Tanzania. So if it's not the match, then everything trembled. I... Well, they they must hope that Maria Mabaso's DNA matches <laughs> with Tabo Beste. They need to uh, hope that that is the case. So the point of of, of otherwise interest, the point of interest right now should be to Pumo keep Best. should be should be to keep Maria Mabaso safe. Yes, because she's the only thing that yes. can help us link this guy back. Yes, that woman needs to be protected at all costs. And you heard her. She's saying she's been fearing for her life. She's been getting threats. She disrupted this whole escape plan. Give that lady her flowers. And protect her. She must be under state protection. She's very important now. So I don't know. Sizolinda. We are going to wait. Again, we will wait a minute. We will wait. Our job is to wait. Mm -hmm. But hey, uh, you know, I've been thinking about that thing of not the blood not matching. Because if it doesn't, then we've got a wrong person. In if we use that person to link and bring this person <laughs> back, this person can walk in and uh, walk out free. His freedom depends on that DNA. Imagine. So, Maria Maba so safe, La Pecon. That is the question that we need to be asking ourselves as a nation. Is that lady safe? Is she protected? Well, it's a buy from us. It's a buy from us. We guys. Share come, your comments. We always come with an acute angle while others are coming with a, a 90 degree. And the Share your comment. Like I said, I we, dig. We, we, we come with this, the different direction. I but dig for sh- information. Share your comment, guys. Tell us what you think. <laughs>